Hi, it's Alan and Ashley. It's time for another Wet Nose Wednesday, and today our special guest is Wiggles. Tell us about Wiggles. Wiggles is a female. She's two years old, and she came from Texas. And she's a boxer mix, is that right? Yes, she is a boxer mix. And she looks ready for action. A very playful, very fun dog. Guess why her name is Wiggles? Because <laughs> uh, she probably wiggles quite a bit, right? She does. She loves people, and she loves other dogs, and she's very wiggly and snuggly. We were told that Wiggles is a little shy. I'm having a hard time <laughs> believing that. No, she, she is a little shy around kids. Um, we think she'd be best in a home with kids over seven. OK. Gotcha. So, but, but safe for the kids, and yep. uh, I'm sure fun for the whole family, yep. right? Yes. <laughs> Now, when it comes to leaving Wiggles at home alone, uh, how does that turn out? <laughs> um, she would be fine home alone. She does need her exercise. She's two years old, so she's a young, active dog. So as long as you take her out for some playtime and some walks, she'd be fine hanging out at home. Speaking of walks, if someone's buying a dog like Wiggles or adopting a dog like Wiggles, yep. how far should they walk them? How often? It depends on the dog, but they need daily exercise, and the more active they are, the farther and more um, intense activity they need. So some dogs that are high energy benefit from, you know, an hour-long run or jog. Um, most dogs are fine with a long walk okay. in the morning and the afternoon. A beautiful dog. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, we have kids. We call them the terrible twos. Yeah. Ashley's been going through that. <laughs> it, it, do, do dogs go through terrible twos or is it uh, in do. dog years? They do. It's dog years and um, it's usually about nine months to about a year and a half. Oh, so shorter amount of time than the actual terrible yeah. twos. <laughs> gotcha. But they do. They have that period of testing their limits and testing your limits. Mm -hmm. And crying because you opened the refrigerator and they didn't let them do it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. We go through the same thing on the Alan and Ashley show, weekday mornings, 5 to 9 a.m. Uh, how do we go about adopting Ashley? <laughs> I, I meant Wiggles. Or Wiggles. Wow. <laughs> Not sure about how you adopt Ashley, but if you want to adopt Wiggles, you can visit our website at paws.org or visit our shelter in Linwood. And if you want to adopt me, send your monthly salary <laughs> right. to, to Ashley at warm1069.com. All right, that's Wiggles <laughs> and Ashley. <laughs>um, she likes other dogs, but she likes respectful dogs. So dogs that are too rowdy or rambunctious, um, she's not that wild about. So, but looks, kids and people, she's great. She looks very photographable and ready to pose for any family photo. Yes, right? isn't she? Mm -hmm. What kind of dog is she? She's a pitbull mix. A pitbull mix. Yeah. Uh, I know. I thought the face. Yeah. I love her face. Yeah. Now, now people might have a perception of a pitbull and be concerned about that with the kids. Talk us through that a little bit. So there are a lot of misconceptions about pit bulls. Um, they are actually part of the terrier family of dogs, and they are actually very friendly, very sweet dogs. Um, they're usually great with kids. Um, a lot of them are great with cats. That's oh. another misconception that sometimes they're not so great with cats. The cats might not be so great with the dogs, though. That's true. <laughs> are the cats ever really satisfied with anything, really? Only when they're in charge. Exactly. <laughs> she is so sweet. Yeah. yeah, she's very sweet. She loves treats. Who doesn't? I know. I want some treats right now. Now, if we want to adopt Petunia, what do we have to do? Um, again, our website at paws.org if you want to see pictures and find out more about her or visit our shelter in person in Linwood. All right, there you go, the very beautiful two-year-old Petunia. Bye, Petunia. There you go. <laughs>
That's awesome. Aww. She's an athlete. Very uh, healthy, energized dog, right? Yes. That's and would beautiful. she do well with other dogs, cats? Yes. Okay. Yep. She's great with other dogs. She likes to play. She loves toys. Oh, nice. Especially a ball. That's okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. So walk us through the process here. Obviously, um, a lot of people would think, well, they can come down and uh, adopt a dog. Is it a complicated process? Is it a difficult process? No, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you come in and fill out an adopter survey, which just helps us figure out what you're looking for in a dog. And, and if you've had dogs in the past, and if not, uh, we can help you answer questions about what it's like to own a dog and be a dog guardian. And then we just try to find the right fit for, um, for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Now, how often would you have to be home? Because a lot of people might feel that uh, you know they, they've got a, all of a sudden basically another child. And yeah. Um, well, that's what we help. That's what our adoption counselors help figure out. So if you're not home a lot, we have a we have a dog to fit you. So that's that's really the adoption counseling process is figuring out what your lifestyle is and what kind of dog is going to fit into your lifestyle. So you don't have to make any major you know changes to how you. Are. And let's be honest, most places now you can bring your dog anyway, so you never yeah. have to leave them at home. Yeah. Absolutely, like right now. <laughs> yeah, bring right? your dog to work day. There you go. All right, well, that's Francis <laughs> on Wet Nose Wednesday.